the clutch has gone on my T2 camper van, so I'm going to climb underneath and have a look and see if I can see what's going on. Okay, so we've got a fairly obvious problem. The clutch cable is frayed where it runs through the back of the camper onto the clutch arm, um, which is obviously the reason I've lost the clutch. Uh, so I'm going to have to replace that. Um, so I'm going to order all the bits I need and get back underneath and get it sorted out. Okay, so I've ordered a complete clutch cable kit. Um, and the first thing I need to climb under and do is undo this little wing nut, which connects to the end of the clutch cable, um, so we can release the old cable and pull it through the vehicle to replace it. Okay, so there's the wing nut that was on the new set, which I've got to attempt to just wind off here slowly. Uh, okay, so I just thought of a quicker way of doing that. I don't need to wind the wing nut off because I've got to cut the cable anyway to pull it back through to the front of the vehicle. Um, so I'm just going to attempt to wiggle some tin snips in here and see if I can cut straight through the cable work so I don't have to undo those nuts. Uh, this could be a little bit tricky, but. Hopefully I'll be able to do it. I'm going to have to come out from underneath, so I'm just going to change the camera angle. Here, and see if I can... Yeah, I'm going Okay, so that's released it, and now I can just somehow pull the, the wing nut and remain part of the cable out of the clutch arm. Excellent, there it is. Uh, so this little tube here is another part of the uh, bits that came with the clutch cable kit, so I've just got to release this clamp here. Um, to take that out before I can pull the cable back through to the front. I'm just going to whiz that off and release that now. Okay, so we've popped the bolt off. Uh, I'm just going to try and pull this tube out now. Which is fairly straightforward. And then slide this whole tube off of the the cable. So now we attach a drawstring to the end of the cable, disconnect it at the front of the van and pull the whole thing through. Okay, let's see if we can get this string attached to use as a draw cord for when I pull the cable through. I'm just going to use a builder's line and some electrical tape to hopefully get it to hang on as we pull it through. Should do the trick. I'll climb under the front here, um, and as far as I can tell, I've got to take this big piece of tinware off here to access the clutch pedal. So there'll be a bunch of these to undo. Released. Got it in. Chucked it away. Oh, chucked it out of the way, shall I say? Um, and now I can see the bottom of the clutch arm. Uh, so there's the clutch cable. Um, it's looking like I need to undo these two bolts to drop the whole mechanism down so I can then release the cable to pull through. Um, so we're just going to do these two now. Um, I may not have needed to take these two bolts out, but all it's done is, is just drop down a little bit so to make it a little easier to access this little nut with two nuts on the back to lock off the nuts. Um, with those out and that's the cable I'm ready to pull out. Okay, so that's those undone, so I'm just gonna I've taken the bolt out and just releasing the cable there and um let's uh, give it a pull and see if we can get our blue string to show up from the other end. Fingers crossed it stays connected. 
it seems I've sprayed on it through. blue string excellent so and to reconnect the new cable to the blue string and pull it back through okay so here's the new cable I'm just gonna just take the string onto it the same as I did to pull it through from the back a quick bit of tape should do the trick all free and I'm going to the back of the van and, uh, see if we can find this end by pulling this string back through uh, okay so that's the cable pulled back through now um, so I just need to put this little fellow back into position shouldn't be too difficult Tricky the one hand because I'm trying to hold my camera with the other. But, um, yeah, I think I'm just going to have to pop the camera down again and uh, just reconnect that and then reconnect these two bolts and the tinware on the bottom of the bus at the front and then um, dive back under the back and reconnect everything there. Okay, so instead of uh, putting that locking nut um, and bolt back through that hole, um, the new clutch kit comes with uh, this little gadget here, so I, which I assume is what's actually meant to be on there. So um, I'm just going to attempt to pop that back in through the hole instead, and and then it just simply clips on and locks in place which is massively quicker and um, much better idea than whoever put the bolt through in the first place so uh, okay ready to pop the tinware back on and uh, jump back to the back okay so we're back underneath the bus um, with the new cable pulled through um, I just need to now thread the cable through this piece and then reconnect it um, up under here uh, where it gets housed by that the little clip again and then just pop this bolt back in to hold that so I'll just do that and then I'll, I'll show you quickly and then um, we'll go on to connecting the final part back onto the arm <laughs> 